What's up, everybody? Yo. It's the driver era. I'm Ross. I'm Rocky. And we're with Teen Vogue today to show you guys what the playlist of our lives would be. The Rising by Bruce Springsteen. He's the boss. Yeah. Our dad's the biggest fan of Bruce Springsteen. That's how we got turned on to him. And, uh, and he was always preaching, like, he's the best live show. And we went and saw him. And he's great. it pretty much really was the best yeah, live show. Great. He crowd but, surfed. But when he sang this song, it reminded me of so many of our childhood memories. Oh, yeah. I think I specifically remember dad picking me up and, like, dancing with me. Yeah. To this song, yeah. So I was like, it's just hella sweet. Those are good times. The best part of that song is actually it like builds for a second and then it goes it like opens to the he opens yeah. like a, like a power yeah, chord or yeah, something yeah. like an yeah. open chord like that's kind of the moment of the song for yeah me. Stevie Wonder if you really love me Stevie can just hit a certain spot and it's and it, it's like he says in the song he's like ooh so sweet it's like. Stevie Wonder. Also, the verse and the chorus are polar opposites. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the verses are like these like crazy chords he's playing, mm -hmm. and it's like slowed down, and then like you kick into like that groovy funky chorus. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect lift. I want to try to learn those chords, but those but they're, they're, they're crazy. so intricate. I was yeah. I like, was like crazy. Right, I'm gonna go write my own song now. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Darling Nikki by Prince. I feel like this is an overlooked song on Purple Rain. For sure. It's like dun 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 dun. It feels like double time. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Like drums. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like that. That's so sick. Yeah. Whoever drummed on that specific record was like. Insane. Yeah, shout out to the drummer. Yeah, Prince is, I feel like, a big artist for us. We've always loved Prince. Yeah. I Need You Tonight by Punkin Machine. We went to, uh, to Deauville for an American film festival when I did this film named, uh, named My Friend Dahmer. And we're going to all these cool nightlife things. We yeah. went to a burlesque show. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're listening to a bunch of disco because that's what they listen to in France. At the, in the clubs, yeah. and this was one of our favorite ones. It's got the longest intro, but yeah. it's so sick. It's way too long for 2019. Let's do that sometime. Fit it right. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Or just an outro. Yeah. Just like yeah. have it for a good two yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into it. Yeah. Like a prayer, Madonna. Growing up, mom played Madonna. That gives you that tension release nicely. Oh yeah, the chorus opens up great. Yeah. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles. You pretty much have to pick a Beatles song. Yeah, you got all classic artists. If you were stuck there. on an island and this was the only playlist you downloaded. You gotta have a Beatles song. You gotta have a Beatles song. You gotta song. have a Beatles song, I you agree. Know? The way they do the tempo change is so seamless. You wouldn't really notice it. Mm -hmm. Like, they, yeah, they, they just nailed it. Yeah. Right. yeah dude. And then you get that big lift and that anthemic chorus. Oh yeah. The harmonies they, come in halfway through. Oh like, dude. You always look towards the Beatles for inspiration because there's so much to learn from from what they wrote. Yeah. That was one thing like a while back when we first started making music, everyone was like, just go learn Beatles songs. Like just mm -hmm. like go sit down and learn some chords that they're playing mixed with the melodies they're doing, and like, mm -hmm. that was like a form of kind of learning songwriting. I remember being in elementary school. I'd like bring this, I'd be like listening to like, a little Walkman, mm -hmm. and I'd be playing this, and people would be like, Yo, what, why are you playing that? Like, what's going on? <laughs> but I just loved it, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, you gotta love Phantom of the Opera. There's this part in the second verse where these strings are in the background. They just like fall and then rise and pitch. Hear it, hear it. it influenced us like growing up to kind of get used to like stranger chord progressions. Yeah. We listened to it a lot. We had to pick two songs. One is our newest single 
fill you now. And the second one is Low, which has been out now for a little while. A second. Low is a song that Rocky made all by himself. He wrote and produced it. Yeah, I went to Milan yeah. um, to premiere Sabrina. Yeah. And Rocky sends me this song, and I literally listened to it probably like four or five times a day. It was just at a time where I was like, all right, like, you know, things are good and things at the same time, like, you know, sometimes you wake up one morning and you're like, dang, you know, a little funk. Never did I know I could get this and then feel you now. I remember when you first put that in to the session. I just never heard something yeah. like that, yeah. like quite like that. Yeah. You know? It's like, whoa, yeah. it's cool. I guess what people probably think of our taste is like, we like classic music. Dad played Bruce all the time, obviously got into the Beatles at some point. Mm -hmm. Prince has played a lot. We grew up dancing a bunch. Stevie Wonder is always bumping. Mm -hmm. Yo, thank you, Team Vote, for having us. Thank yeah. you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you around.